What's going on guys? God bless you, Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Happy Friday guys, the weekend is here. I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, so today is actually, uh, I am not working today. I'm actually here um, at the um, uh, immigration office. I have an appointment. Um, so hopefully everything goes well today but before i get in here um literally I'm, I'm usually about one hour early anyways everywhere um so gives me a little bit of time on a <coughs> a topic that i think i've been wanting to talk about i just haven't done it um and that's and and hopefully this video helps a lot of those who are new in the business um and that's what are you doing when your business is slow right many times we hear that right we hear the you know, man, I'm, my business is slow right now. I don't know what to do, and, you know, any feedback. So I hope this video kind of helps you. And if you're new in the business, maybe this video will help you and maybe guide you in a different direction that I feel will be very useful to you. So when your business is slow, right, what can you do? There are so many options out there that you can really do. Um, but I'm going to give you just three of what really has helped my business. These... <laughs> Uh, these past years and maybe my beginning years when I was slow So tip number one is is um, is always be posting your content, right? Um, a lot of people I feel like they're slacking on posting content So always post content on your on your personal Facebook page put it on your business page Facebook business page If you have one put it on your Instagram, right or TikTok. There's so many platforms now that I feel that no matter where you go, people are gonna, they're gonna see you, they're gonna know who you are, right? Um, present yourself, right? You know, showcase a little bit of who you are, what you do, you know, where you do it, right? As for me, I'm always um, live or I'm doing something where it's like, you know, I'm here today, right? Um, if you have any questions, hey, feel free to inbox me, let's get you taken care of, something like that, right? Uh, tip number two is always, um, keep your customers information obviously uh, customers information is it's always um, privacy right but if you've serviced them in the past it is the perfect time for you to contact them right um, send them a message through 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 Facebook through Instagram through wherever you think you need to reach out to them right as for me and my business usually everybody has inboxed me through um facebook so i have a lot of their information saved so next time i have a slow week coming up guess what i'll go down my list you know and um usually <coughs> i'll scroll down to maybe last year right or maybe six months ago and, and then i'll say like hey you know um, i'm gonna be in your area or you know i'm just stopping by to say hi and i hope everything's went well uh, listen, um, uh, I have a sale going on this upcoming week, um, you know, and so forth, right? Um, another thing you can do, and that's the last tip I'm going to give you guys, and not to make this video long, is tip number three is give <coughs> something free, right? Um, as for me and my business, uh, I've done many sales where I'll say, you know, for this week coming, uh, anybody who books, you know, my... Um, the, the sauce package, right? That's my 150, my one, my uh, 150 dollar package. Uh, you're gonna receive a 80 dollar um, engine bay detail, right, for free. And that creates one. It starts creating, um, you know, text messages. It starts creating phone calls uh, because who doesn't need their engine bay detail, right? Not a lot of people really look at their engine, right? But guess what? By you saying that usually <laughs> creates it creates that curiosity in their head when they're like hmm you know what 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 are they gonna do they're gonna pop open their their hood they're gonna look at their like wow it's dirty you know what it's a good deal let's take it right and people will start contacting you um, so those are just ways that I honestly feel um, that can benefit um, your business in the beginning stages of when people are slow Right. Once you start getting busy, you don't have to put a lot of um, sales out there. Right. But in the beginning, sometimes it's worth putting sales out for customers to one. Um, you want to start, um, 
getting feedback, right? Uh, you're going to start creating that curiosity with customers like, oh, okay, you know, he offers this or he offers this. And then this way they know, right? So if you've been slow, get on your phone, go through your through your list of the past couple of months and reach out to them. Say, hey, how you doing? You know, I'm in your area. Um, and, and I'd love to um, have an opportunity to service your vehicle again. I know we detailed it maybe five months ago <coughs> but uh this week coming up i have a, a a maintenance special you know for let's just say a hundred bucks um and you're gonna vacuum their car clean their windows wipe their dashboard the door panels and you're gonna condition like maybe say like your dashboard and the door panels right and that's a really good deal right and guess what the customers will say oh you know what i lost your information or we were actually thinking about you thank you for reaching out you know what let's go ahead and book um book that appointment for next week if you can right and guess what you just booked an appointment you didn't have and <laughs> it won't take you long right so just imagine the opportunities you have just at your fingertips with your phone and your previous customers so next time you're having a slow week I hope this video helps you and you go right through your list and you, hopefully you can book some people there. So anyways, you guys have a blessed day. Be safe and I'll see you guys hopefully next week with something new.